and now I get to BS with a bunch of Mopar guys, and that was worth every penny of it. And there it is. All right, guys, so we're gonna go over the performance aspect of this car and this, what has happened on this channel. So by no means should you guys all calculate it all up and be like, well, you could have got this instead. Listen, I'm just having fun with this stuff and I'm trying different things and just enjoying it. So I don't need anybody, you know, throw in this stuff in my face okay so hear me out so the charger rt has a scat pack stage one pcm it has a corsa cold air intake it has Flowmaster 40s with resonator deletes and then it has 275 uh, front tires and 315s in the back that's the current set up in regards to performance. Now when I first purchased this car, it was bone stock. And the first day, I decided to do a mid muffler delete. From there, you know, the, the modifications began uh, trickling. So with the mid muffler delete, I did a zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds and the eighth mile in 8.7 seconds. But it was very inconsistent. I needed to have perfect launches and these times were few and far between. So I needed to hit up certain roads and launch it so many times in order to really achieve those best numbers. So I went ahead and put the Flowmaster setup on there and removed the resonators. For a couple days I had a straight pipe set up. It's, it's awful it's friggin awful or whatever however long I had it that got put to bed uh, very shortly I put the flow masters on now the flow masters didn't add any kind of performance or help in any which way it what I learned with the flow masters is it just makes the car sound beautiful so with none of the uh, times really improving, I decided to get uh, better traction because my launches were terrible with the two the stock 245s on the car. So I went ahead and put 275s on, on the back and that was Extreme Contact by Continental. And to me, this was a game changer when I put those in the back of the car it made this car run so consistent I could close my eyes at a dead stop and run a 5.1 every time all the time it did not matter the road this thing hooked beautiful so from there I put a K&N drop-in filter this did not improve my time whatsoever. However, what it did do was add a little bit of engine noise, which I kind of liked. You heard the intake a little bit more. So from there, I decided I was weighing the option between getting a Diablo tuner and a Scat Pack Stage 1 PCM. I ended up going with the PCM just for warranty purposes and um, you know, you just, you never know with uh, cars. You can have uh, some big bills, you know, hit you, and it's nice to, to remain under warranty. And I didn't really want to go through the rigmarole of, you know, taking a PCM out, putting it back in, etc., and arguing with a dealer about some modifications that I've done. So I put the Scat Pack Stage 1 PCM in there. So at that point, I had the PCM, 275s, and the K&N drop-in filter. Shortly after the PCM though, I put the Corsa cold air intake in. And the reason why was the PCM was tuned for an aftermarket exhaust setup and a higher flowing intake. So after the PCM, 
I ran a zero to 60 in five seconds. Five seconds was my time. I kept running five seconds. This was a mark that I've never, I never hit before then. You all probably, well, many of you probably have seen my 4.9 run. I think that was a freak run, but it's on the dashboard as my best. So, but I noticed that my, my consistency with 5.0 was there and that was awesome. However, all of my, you know, eighth mile uh, runs remain the same at 8.7 throughout the entire process. So I paid a lot of money for 0.1 seconds. Um, then I got into a really stupid accident and that messed up my tires and messed up my rims and from that point on the car was not the same it would do it would just launch all weird and uh, spinning and it was it was bad it was not good so from then on you'll notice that nothing really is related to performance ever since I reported back to that accident that is why when I lined up against that scat pack this car really didn't do as good as what it should have done. It was 0.4 seconds slower than what it was a month prior. I shouldn't have done that race, but I did it anyway, just for fun. Um, and like I said in the video, that scat pack would have creamed me anyway. But that brings us to now. That brings us to the modern time. And I was able to save up, get myself... Uh, Hellcat replica rims 20 by 9 in the front 20 by 10 in the, the back and the fronts have 275s in the front 315s in the back and that brings us to modern day where we now have a 0 to 60 challenge ready to go and I am going to report back to you guys if these tires have improved my time, got me back to where I was at 5.0, etc. So we're going to see how it all pans out. And that's the road, guys. And I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> and now I get to BS with a bunch of Mopar guys, and that was worth every penny of it. And there it is.